The play-by-play -play tool is a table which contains all the video clips you've registered up to that point. Whether you're registering actions in real time or from an existing file, play-by-play -play can be used to highlight moments of interest by filtering for specific categories as well as providing the option to add contextual notes to your clips. But not only that, it allows you to edit your clips and the associated information. This is an interactive and functional tool for coaches and analysts. During real-time, live analysis, the play-by-play -play table is a great way to interact with your clips and data, providing quick access to the moments that matter. Let's see how it works. To open the play-by-play -play table, click on this icon. The window can be resized or moved to anywhere on the screen. In the menu bar at the top, there are options to refresh the table, filter by categories and XY coordinates, change the display order, delete clips and delete descriptors. You can also set the maximum number of clips to display in the table and activate auto refresh which updates the table with each click. There are also more advanced options within the table itself. Double click on the play icon to access the properties editing window. Click on the category column to reassign the category. Useful if you make an error whilst registering. You can also add or remove descriptors. To add a descriptor, select the clip you want to add it to then click on the relevant descriptor in the button's template. To delete the descriptor, double-click the descriptor column, find the descriptor you want to remove, and click the X. In the last column, you can double-click to add, delete, or edit text notes associated with the clip. If you're working with a graphic descriptor, like in this example, the XY coordinates will be added to the relevant clip. Forgotten to add a descriptor to multiple categories? No problem. In the play-by-play -play table, you can add or delete descriptors to multiple clips at the same time. In this example, we're going to add the first half to all selected clips. To do this, hold control and select the clips where you want to add the descriptors. Then click the descriptor you want to add. You can also delete descriptors from multiple categories. Select the clips from which you want to remove descriptors. Hold down the control key and double click. Now, simply remove the descriptors you're not interested in. If you prefer to work with the dynamic timeline instead of the play-by-play -play table, you can activate it by clicking on this icon. As you register your categories and descriptors, the timeline will fill, giving a visual representation of how the game or your performance is panning out. You'll see things that occur regularly or don't. We recommend you activate the auto refresh option as this ensures that all clips and the size of the timeline will refresh automatically, giving a better visualization of the analysis. The dynamic timeline allows you to edit the duration of clips and their position. And that's it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date with all the latest Naxport news, why not subscribe to the channel? Thanks, and see you next time.